Hello everyone, it's Yvonne back to do your bonus read. We're going to use the Rider Waite Tarot for this reading. I'm just sitting here thinking, because after the What's Cracking reading, I thought oh, I'll just sit here for a few moments and shuffle and sort of get my energy cleared to do the bonus read, which is what I generally do. Sometimes I have a coffee in between to clear my energy. But at the moment, the sort of energy that's here is very very unique I want to say I haven't felt this energy like this before I can hear crickets it's like this stillness of something about to happen something about to occur here because there's very much this energy of silence stillness so it's interesting sometimes when you get a different energy because it's a little harder to navigate when you're something you're not used to but it's very different. It's okay here. If I stop and listen, I can hear birds singing. I can hear cars going by. I can hear trains, whatever. But in the energy of spirituality, when I get into the spiritual energy, it's like we're on pause. Like waiting. There's apprehension. All right, let's see what's going on. Let's see where the reading's taking us. Eight of Wands coming through. I'm pretty sure we had the Eight of Wands in the What's Cracking reading, but I'll run with it. The Eight of Wands is a beautiful card. It talks about things moving very, very quickly, some sort of swift movement. Sometimes this can be messages coming in, messages going backwards and forwards, communication after a period of silence. It's movement. It also talks about the arrows of love. So maybe some of you are going to be hit with, with the arrows of love this week. But I feel like this is communication, mostly. Swift communication, unexpected communication. Okay, so the five of, one, uh, five of, oh my goodness, where am I today? The five of pentacles is here. I need to get more grounded. The Five of Pentacles is here. And the Five of Pentacles is a card that talks about being left out in the cold. I feel like you might be getting some sort of communication this week from somebody who either didn't do the right thing by you. They may have ghosted you, but left you out in the cold. Now, this doesn't always have to be romantic. It could be that you're getting communication from someone who hasn't communicated with you for a long time. There could have been something that, that sort of got between you and that person to sever ties, I want to say. Because there's a silence here with the crickets. And it's that energy of anticipation, the energy of waiting for something to happen. And these two people here could find their way into that church. The light is shining. But for some unknown reason, they're sitting waiting outside the church. So whoever this is may not have moved on or may be stuck after something that's happened in the past. But there's communication coming through. All right, so the Three of Wands talks of waiting for your ships to come in. It talks of that time of waiting, expecting, anticipating. This is all cricket energy. That's what it feels like, waiting. Waiting for your destiny, waiting for your wishes to come true. Waiting for... Oh, I can feel the communication. So whether you're actually waiting for somebody to communicate or whether you're waiting for the next stage in your journey, it feels very much to me, it's not like being stuck. It's not like that stuck energy, that sort of energy that makes you feel like you're dragging your wheels. It's not about, you know, trudging through that muddy, thick energy. It's not like that at all. It's just like this quietness while you're waiting for something. to. It's the calm before the storm. That's what it is. The calm before the storm. Oh, okay. Something big is going down for people here. This is big energy. This is big energy. This is some sort of disruption. It's almost like a disruption. It's like a tower. It's like something big coming in after waiting. Some sort of energy of swift movement after things have been very, very quiet and still. 
it's like that bolt of lightning when just before the storm comes the energy of the energy of that electricity that stillness and then boom that's what that is there is somebody coming in here we have the devil energy here which says to me that there's somebody here who's really obsessed or focused in a very serious way you could be dealing with a capricorn but this person is is really focused on what they want from a situation to the point of obsession i can see this person's steely gaze here this person wants something really badly here and they're definitely prepared to see a result they want a result this could be somebody that you're emotionally tied to or have some sort of soul tie to this person is trying to trying to devise some sort of way to come forward but i see the wheel of fortune and i think there is something here that the universe at the hierophants here that's four major arcanas in a row the universe is trying to bring some sort of stability back to you after you've been left out in the cold so there's like a return like a karmic return here and a brand new start with the ace of wands it's very different energy very different energy i feel like it's almost like you're holding your breath all right, let's see where we're going. Nine of Wands coming through. Definitely a lot of repeat cards from what's cracking reading. That's what I said. There's no need to go deeper because they're going to come out in this reading anyway if they need to. So the Nine of Wands is a card of feeling beaten up. This is like the energy of that Five of Pentacles where you're feeling like, you know, that you've kept retaliating. You've kept working towards something. You may have put a lot of energy and passion into something, but you're feeling like you've gone nowhere with that. this is the final straw this is for me the nine moving to the ten is the straw that breaks the camel's back and that's why we see the ten of wands being carried on the back there is something here with that ace of wands coming in that we've just seen that is the straw that breaks the camel's back there's like something happening here that's closing out some sort of cycle and I feel like somebody is in that Ten of Wands energy and somebody is in the Nine of Wands energy. And someone is going to create some sort of energy of that final straw with the Ace of Wands. Something is taking you full circle here. All right, let's see where we're going with that. Beautiful. And here they come. Look at that. Knight of Swords coming through. Somebody's got some sort of message, gift, some sort of energy here. That Oh, there's the tower. I knew I could feel that coming still. Something here is just, there's a huge impact here. There's a huge impact of energy. It's like worlds colliding. That star just sort of brings it all home with the devil card. It's like something that, some good that's coming out of something that may have been quite tragic or drastic some really incredibly good turning point something that's going to take you from the nine to the ten and close out this cycle whoever this person is coming in they are really determined to have a result they're not just going to phase in and phase out this is someone who's coming in with sword blazing to offer you some sort of gift that's going to help you move to the next stage whatever this stage is it's coming up as a tower but i feel like you can you're anticipating this already you can feel it there's some sort of apprehensive energy in the universe at the moment that says to me you are knowing something's coming you can feel it because i can all right so we have the justice card which also i just said should have been here okay eight of pentacles Whoop, six of pentacles. I tried to make the screen lighter and it's gone too light now. Okay. This is someone who wants to work on something with you here. Someone who wants to put the energy in. Again, there's nothing telling me that it is romantic, but I feel like for many of you, this is something romantic. It's romantic love. But for others of you, this may be a family member returning to put things right here. 
And maybe you've tried to do that a lot of times and it just hasn't come off for you. I feel like whoever this person is, is determined to get it right this time. With the six, eight of pentacles and the justice card, I feel like there is some sort of energy to want to return to how things were here. I don't want to do this anymore. It's too disruptive for my life. How do we go back? How do we forgive? How do we let go? Because I want to go back to how things were. That's what that energy feels like. Okay, so I have the Knight of Wands coming through. Oh, wow, with the Knight of Cups. Okay, this is the person bringing the wand. Leo, Sag, your Aries energy here. This is the person bringing the wand that's going to break the camel's back and start this towering process. There is some breaking down of the old way. This person wants to start anew. They want to raise something from the dead here. There's the judgment energy here. Hmm. All right, we have the six of wands coming through. So we have definitely a victory. All right, let's just go back through this again. I want to put some more cards on it. All right, so there is something changing rapidly. There's communication coming through. You may be hearing from someone who left you out in the cold. This is someone who now is looking towards the future and wants to put things right. There is something about timing here with the star card. Some sort of destiny being fulfilled. Somebody doing things when they needed to. I feel like this person is now obsessing about something. This could be you as well. But there's this strange feeling of obsessing, of being st like stuck in this energy of wanting something so badly that it's... It's taking over everything in your life here. This is a soul connection. Some of you may have let go of this connection, but I don't feel like the other person has. I feel like you've been busy healing, trying to let go of something, but your person hasn't been, or whoever this person is, because there is some sort of stability coming and a new start here. For some of you, this could be about somebody racing in to reconcile. Because there's definitely reconciliation here. There's some sort of energy of putting something right. Putting something back. And I feel like this person wants to make things right. So that you can go back to where you were before. It's almost like they want to hear with this tower. Like create this energy of a new start. A new beginning. Oh, look at this death card coming through. You could be dealing with a Scorpio here because I have the tower as well. So there's Scorpio energy. There's Libra energy coming through here. Could be a Libra dealing with a Scorpio, a Scorpio dealing with a Libra. Let's have a look where we're up to. Okay, so we have the chariot card coming through. So it could be Cancer as well, but that could be also the energy of moving forward. We have the Magician coming through here. Wow, with the Queen of Pentacles. There's a lot of yellow in this top reading and the Two of Wands. This person wants to build a new future with you. That's where the second one's coming in here. I feel with this Chariot and this Magician card, you could be dealing with someone who's trying to manifest you back in, especially with the Devil card here. There's this really potent energy of wanting something very badly. So it may be that your person has spent a lot of time away from you and is still feeling that energy of attachment. Um, but I feel like for many of you here, it's this energy of you've already moved on, but you've got this energy of something about to come up come down happen this person's been trying to manifest you in whoever they are magician chariot forward movement understanding now that they have everything they need to offer you okay this is someone who wants a future with you here 
I feel like this person's at a point now where they have everything they need to offer you some sort of future. This is why they're coming back in. I feel like they've been working at this and they haven't really set their sights on it, but now they know they're to the point where they can offer you what you want. Wow, they're coming in to offer you. Card 25, the eyes of beauty. I like this reading. This is positive expectations and clarity. When the eyes of beauty show up as your ally, they require you to examine your perceptions. Do you see the world as perfect and beautiful? Can you retrace your steps from your past to now and see the perfection in the way reality has been created? Truly perception is everything. A glass half empty is the same as a glass half full, yet so different according to how it's perceived. The eyes of beauty remind you that you can move forward with conviction all is well now and always will be. You will see true prosperity as a result. Expect to see beauty and you will attract your highest good. And I feel that's where you are. You're vibrating in this energy now. Because something is coming back towards you that is determined here. With this chariot and six of wands. Magician energy. Tower and death. There's been some sort of huge transformation here with the Justice card. Somebody now knows what they want and they're going after it. Very potent. Have a wonderful day.